Welcome to another edition of Totally Awesome Fishing, where today I'm on the lower Dorset Stour. It's right down the bottom end of the Dorset Stour, where it runs in at Christchurch, uh, below Throop Fishery, I think they call it. I've never fished there before, and I'm working my way downstream. Species I'm going to be looking for, pike. Early winter, I really fancy my chances, but I've never fished here before, so I don't know. So I've only fished, well, much further upstream. So I'm going to be fishing with sprats, working my way downstream, the sunrise is just coming through the trees. Peachy perfect. See what we can do. Okay, so let me tell you what the score is. I've been given a tip off by a Ringwood matchman about the roach on the lower stour. It's tidal down there, and what happens is, as the tide comes in with a big spring tide, which is the biggest tide you can get, it pushes the salt water up in and it pushes the roach up. So that sort of bottles them all up and the pike won't be far behind them. So that's a tip-off I got, so it's a good tip-off I'd say. But now, i just got to find some fish. Fingers crossed. Glasses on sixth cast. I've got to take. Just gonna let him take a little way. Always check the drag before you strike. Oh, nice fish, guys! Nice fish. Tell you what, this doesn't feel a bad old fish. There he is, there he is, he's out the middle. <laughs> he comes right out of the water. It's huge. Big fish, look at this one. Sixth cast. Sixth cast. That is well doubled. Let's take a look at it. Oh, still quivering. Let's see what we got here. There we got, we've got 13 pounds even. Take a quick look at it and get it back. 13 pounds of lower stour pike. Six cars. What a tip off from that matchman. I found that fish right in the margins. Just as the sun was coming over and he can eat anything. Oh, let's get it back. I'm still quivering. I'll call bigger, but six cars is a good fish. Just had another take close in. Hey, was another good. Scrappers are a bit thin, but they're good scrappers. Oh, he's taking me downstream. God, I just saw this tree overhanging bushes. It just, it just had pike written all over it. 
and actually saw the fish take. I haven't put Polaroids on yet. The sun's still low. There he is, near the surface. He might come out. Oh dear man, he's gone. The margins. Have a look at it. Ooh. Nah, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, folks, I think this is another double. Got to be close. Is 11 pounds exactly, and I had another one about five as well. So, does this pike fishing down the bottom end work or what? 11 pounds, 13, and one about four. Have I got enough bait? Totally awesome. Just because I caught that pike right by that overhang. Don't think that's the only pike that's there, because I can put my glasses on now, because the sun's getting up, and I reckon there could even be another pike under this. So anything that's a feature, an overhang, anything like that, catch one pike, rest it five minutes, definitely give it another twitch through, definitely. I've moved about 10 yards downstream. I've got nailed again by another, another real good fish. I mean, the fishing today is just unbelievable. I haven't seen this one, but I know it's a good fish with a bit. Oh, yes, look, 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 look. That's a nice pike. That's a nice pike. I think it's another double. I think it's another double, folks. I think it's well, I know it's another double. I know it's another double. God damn, what a place. Oh, he's taking me downstream. Come back up. I'm gonna try and get this one next time if I can. I think my rod's just cracked. I'll take this one steady. I've had a real crack in the glass. But pretty sure it's busted. You won't give up these ripper pike, this scrap, scrap. Much stronger than a lake pipe. Could be the biggest of the day. Not oh, biggest of the half past nine in the morning. Oh yeah, that's definitely a different night, these. On the double A. Let's check it out. That one is a different animal altogether. And it's going. Oh, wait, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, 16, 12. I can't give myself 17 on that. 16, 12. This one with a belly on it. I'll get it up for you. It's not far off. 
And check it out yourself, that's not far for 20 with a belly later in the winter, February time. What a scrap, it came out of the water three times. I think I've actually bust my rod. I've got a Master Pike too, and I think it's broken. What a beautiful fish. Whew, I'm exhausted. I'm almost frightened to put another sprat in the water. Does it work? It's totally awesome, this lowest hour. Let's get it back. We just had a major result. I just moved down um, for another couple of swims. I have two more pike. Got another double, and thank God there's another angler down below me. Eddie was down below, and I had to shout the bloody rod broke in half, and we still landed the fish. So he's going to bring it up and show show it to you. And I think it's it's going to just about shade a double, maybe. Fingers crossed. There you go, Graham. That's a good fish, that. Yeah, bring him right. Yeah, he's close to double, isn't he? Yeah, of course he is. <laughs> well, there's luck and there's luck. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, he's over 10, I say, yeah. yeah right, well, let's get him know. unhooked. Oh, I forgot the weight already. 15? 15.8. 15, 15, 15, now, how lucky was that? <laughs> and just before we put him back, to show you how lucky it was, that's what's happened to the rod. <laughs> the fish came in right under the bank. I had that 16, 12, and I, and I think it's on the, actually on the, on the audio of the camera, we heard the click, and I said then, I think my rod might have broken. Well, it's definitely broken now, but we got the fish. That's four doubles, four doubles. Not quite sure what I'm going to do now, but my sprats are now very valuable, because Eddie wants to go pike fishing. They're about a pound each. We're getting back. Right on the One lucky fish, yeah. One lucky, well, one lucky angler. Then what about lucky fish? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, you I, think I, want to, I think I want to step in what you've stepped in, Graham. Yeah, lucky. You've been lucky, yeah. <laughs> I might even get a shot of it going away with it. Go on, baby, that's it. Go on, baby. Yeah, beautiful, got it, got it, got it. Go on, baby. Graham gets lucky again. Had a right old run around, broken rod, and a canoe this time, believe it or not. But 1414, totally awesome pike fishing. You jammy so and so. There's a bit in that. I have to agree, <laughs> yeah, I have to agree. On a broken rod. On a broken rod.